If you are someone who is on this journey of learning English and you are working very hard to build fluency in your spoken English, then the biggest challenge that you are facing at the moment is that you can't keep your confidence intact. And this video is for those people who want to work on their confidence while they are learning English language. How to keep the confidence up all the time so that you can reach your ultimate goal and that is speaking in English fluently. Watch this video till the end to know how you can do it. Hi everyone, I'm Namita. Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to share five tips which will help you erase nervousness because when you are on this journey of learning English, the first thing is nervousness. Whenever you try to speak, you feel that you are nervous. So how to keep your confidence intact? How to keep your confidence levels high so that you don't give up in between, so that you don't leave this whole uh, learning English part? So there are a few things that I'm going to share with you. The very first thing that you need to tell yourself is that your mistakes do not define you. When you've just started to work on your English, when you are on the way of learning English, you've built up a little bit of English and you feel that your confidence is coming down because you're making mistakes, because you're not being able to speak like other people. So you have to tell yourself that your mistakes do not define you. Everyone makes mistakes. People make mistakes. In, in different areas, no one is perfect and no one should aim for perfection. What you should aim for is progression. You should always keep progressing in whatever you're doing. So you have to work on your progress rather than perfection. So if you are working on progression, you would not look on your mistakes. So your mistakes don't define you. English is just, just one area. And if you're making mistakes in English, it is not your whole personality. It is just one part of you. It is just one part of your whole personality. So keep telling yourself that it is okay. These are just mistakes. Keep telling yourself this thing every time you feel that your confidence is coming down. Tell yourself that my mistakes don't define me. English is just one area. I'm working on it and I'm going to overcome the hurdles which are coming my way very soon. The second thing is, which is a fact is, everyone's journey is different. So if you are comparing yourself with the people who come from English medium, suppose you are someone who uh, has gained education from Hindi medium, then you cannot compare yourself with other people who might be progressing faster because everyone's journey is different. Even if you look at people who are with you in your institute or other learners who are learning English with you, maybe they, they are a little fast. They are grasping things a little faster. And there are people who are even slower than you. So you don't need to make any comparison because everyone's journey is different. Why someone is behaving in a certain way, why someone is learning in a certain way is all because of our backgrounds, our learnings, our grasping of the knowledge or what Whatever atmosphere we were exposed to. So everyone has a different journey. This will help you not to make comparisons because comparisons are the most useless thing that we do. No one can be compared. We are all different beings. So there is no comparison. We are learning. Compare yourself with your yesterday. Compare your today with your yesterday. Whatever you're doing today, is it better than what you did yesterday? You are progressing. You are doing fantastic. That is what we need. And you are going to learn English very fast. You're going to speak in English fluently because this was your journey and you did your best. You're already doing your best and you will reach at the best place. I see many learners getting disappointed when they see that they, their performance is not getting improved as they expect it for themselves. So at this point of time, you have to remind yourself that slow progress is still progress. Yes, you might be learning it a little slowly because see, this is something new for you. If you are from Hindi medium or you cannot basically speak in English. So this is something new. You are trying to acquire a skill. So the progress might be a little slow. It would not come to you overnight. Had it been that fast, you would have been able to uh, speak in English during your school time only because there was a compulsory English subject till class 12. Even in college it was there. So there was a compulsory subject when you were in front of books, when you had to read compulsively, then also if you could not speak, now you're completely out of touch. How can it happen so fast? So your performance depends on your efforts. And if you are feeling that the performance is not happening, even if you're putting in so much efforts, then you just have to tell yourself that, I'm still progressing. I am better than yesterday. Again, you are taking baby steps, but you are stepping forward. That's it. So you have to reach your goal and that's it. Someone would reach fast. Someone would reach slow, but progress is progress. So slowly and steadily, 
you have to win the race and you are going to win the race if you are working all the things that you can on putting the right efforts that are required sometimes this lack of confidence make you feel like a failure remember you only fail if you quit otherwise there is nothing called failure if you quit if you're not quitting if you're still practicing every day okay you don't get the results the results that you expect from yourself you even if you're not getting the results but you you've not yet said it i quit you are still working for it you joined an institute maybe you're reading books you are listening to some stuff you are working on it you're not giving up you are still working for it you you have trained your mind in certain way that no matter what happens i am going to kill it i am going to work on my english part then trust me it is not a failure you cannot call yourself a failure you have not failed yet because you're still trying the moment you say i cannot speak in english yaar this is i'm i'm done with it with it this is not going to work for me then is the time when you failed but till now when you are not quitting the only uh, reason why you feel like you're failing is when you compare yourself with others that i have already discussed earlier when you whenever you are comparing you are deducting some points from your efforts so stop comparing Com- if you want to compare if comparison is your favorite thing compare yourself with your yesterdays compare yourself with how you were years back are you a better being you are going to be better in in the future as well so just keep working hard failure is nothing erase that word you only fail if you quit whenever your mind says i cannot speak in english all my efforts are going in vain change the language change the sentence tell your mind that you are not going to say anything negative to me because positive thoughts create positive things so if you speak negative even in your mind negative things will happen to you if you are working very hard if you are reading if you are practicing you are paying for a trainer then also you are telling yourself oh i cannot speak in english english is not my cup of tea then actually english is not going to work for you you are never going to be able to speak in english but if you are doing all the efforts and you are telling yourself i am already doing very well i am improving each day i am being able to form sentences very well i am having a very good vocabulary today as compared to uh, what i had 6 months back i am doing all the uh, required things i am practicing every day and i am being able to speak in english very well then the result is going to be that you are going to become fluent so positive words positive affirmations are going to give you positive results so it is completely in your hands what you want your mind to speak if you tell your mind to say all the negative things you train your mind like that it will give you negative so only positive things positive thoughts are going to bring the positive things so keep saying positive things and say as if they are happening now not i can speak in english say i am speaking in english tell yourself if you affirm yourself that i am speaking in english you will literally speak in english you will start speaking in english you just have to train your mind your efforts plus your positive attitude is going to take you a long way So now let's move to where we started from how to keep your confidence intact how to keep your confidence levels high this is how you can do it keep reminding these five things because these are the major five hurdles that you come across every day on this journey of learning english if you tell yourself that your mistakes don't define you everyone's journey is different your progress is happening every single day and you're telling all the positive things to yourself you're giving yourself some positive affirmations then you are going to speak in english very well your confidence automatically will get a push and it will say that yes you can speak in english that is what you are going to do so these five things are something that you are going to keep in your mind and they will help you become more confident al- along with fluent because fluency cannot happen only by your english confidence plays a big role so if you don't want to quit you are still on your journey you have to keep your confidence high you have to keep yourself confident you have to tell yourself that yes you are doing it so this is how we are going to overcome this whole confidence game we are going to work on our english speaking skills and we are going to become fluent and confident in english by following all these steps i am going to see you in my next video don't forget to practice your english practice is everything so if you are practicing 
and you are keeping yourself confident, no one can stop you from reaching your goal. I'll see you in my next video. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye for now.